So in this room is where uh, really the first part of the process takes place. So Paul here is working with the vaccine um, and putting it together. And once we've generated it, then we have to expand it before we can start producing copies of the genetic material. All the scientists working on this area recognize the, you know, the emergency the, or the urgency of getting a vaccine out there. So we call it a race, but it's not a race against each other. It's a race against the virus in order to make a vaccine globally available. And like any race, some people might trip over and, and you know, drop out at an early stage. Um, others might be ahead at the beginning and then somebody else might you know, suddenly have a, uh, something that makes them be able to move faster. So the next stage of the process is, first of all, we have to test our vaccine in animal models. And one of the reasons to do that is because there's a legal requirement to show that a vaccine is safe before it goes into human testing. Um, and that's obviously really important because we're developing a vaccine that's going to go into the general population. Um, and so it needs to be really, really safe. And we then move into human testing, which we hope we'll be able to do by the beginning of the summer. But essentially, the individuals don't need to be quarantined because they've never seen the virus. They've just seen that little bit of protein that's on the surface of the virus. What we are working on is the virus like that is heavy in my hometown. So it's like uh, we are f uh, fighting together against the outbreak in China. Actually, I was in China when I first heard it. And I went to Wuhan right before it, uh, it uh, happened. At the very beginning, I didn't thought it would be like this uh, bad. And only after I returned to the UK, then things becoming like worse and worse. I feel like I'm really, really like uh, important in this. Although this new virus is you know, n has not been seen before. It's quite closely related to SARS, for example, and MERS. So some of the science around those other coronaviruses have given us good clues as to how to tackle this virus.